Hi foodies, so the first thing you want to do is get your cut of beef and yes it can be a cheap tough cut because you're going to tenderize it anyway. I'm using a flank steak, it's partially frozen and yes flank isn't super tough but I'm just going to show you guys how I velvet the flank anyhow. Alright, so it's partially frozen, that will make it easier to cut thin slices and the muscle fibers are running from left to right so you're going to cut up and down. All right, so you're cutting against the grain of the meat. That helps to tenderize it as well, okay? So you try to cut thinly, and you'll see how easy it is because it's partially frozen. Once you have your beef cut up into strips, then we're gonna get to the good part, which we're gonna use some baking soda to tenderize the meat. So you can use about a three quarter to a teaspoon of baking soda per pound of meat. Mix the baking soda in a little cool water and then you're going to just massage this into the beef. This is a great method for you know cheaper cuts of beef that you want to use instead of buying the more expensive steaks like a ribeye or a flank. You could buy the cheaper cuts, cut them in strips and then add your baking soda and water. Once you've massaged this into the beef, then you're gonna let it sit in the fridge for about 25 to 30 minutes. The tougher the meat, the longer you can sit it. For the flank, I won't sit it for too long because it isn't tough. But doing this um, step does make it even more tender. Then you're gonna rinse off that baking soda drain the beef and pat dry thoroughly and then you add your seasoning that's it your beef is good to go you can use this for sandwiches you can use it for a, a wrap or you could do a um, stir fry with this it's ready to go let me know if you've ever tried this method of tenderizing beef thanks for watching bye bye